working out, doesn't matter where. And we did, we did back and chest and yeah. Feels pretty good. Shirley, do you wanna want me so? What's your name? Shirley. Yeah, her name's Shirley and yeah. We're working out together and stuff like that. And yeah, now we're gonna go home. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys my watch tomorrow. I bought a new watch band because I don't like how my watch is mismatching. At least match colors. That just really annoys me. Anyways, so next up you'll see me in something else. Wow. Next day, ooh, my edges are bad. Anyways, but I'm finishing up all the work for this week. I'm reading my textbook before doing the work. And yeah that's what this is i'm still waiting for my amazon package and yeah i'm not gonna leave this house till i get it then i'll leave and yeah in my watch and yeah i mean i really want to buy bubble today i want it so <laughs> just pump it But I have acne prone skin, so it's like I'm really trying not to pop it because then it's gonna leave really like the dark marks on my face. And these have been here for a long time. I even doing stuff to make it go away. Anyways, I'm not gonna be recording when I'm crusty. But it's part of the vlog, so. We started it. Now we're back home. Hopefully our house has power and it does. So how are y'all holding up after the hurricane came? Well, for us, it, it downgraded to a tropical storm. So yeah. And yeah. Y'all got anything to say? Y'all got anything to say? Spotlight on you, baby. Guess not. What about you? Um, what was the question again? Just do you have anything to say? No question. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna save you back to you. These kids don't ever learn. Uh oh, y'all look good. We're at KFC getting food to eat. With my lame ass <laughs> and yeah let's pick it up my nerd. the stuff in the back look crazy and we're just waiting we haven't ordered yet but i see what i want mm -hmm. and yeah and yay and yay 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 i'm thirsty i got my water right though i got my wallet right though yeah I'm just kidding. Christianity at this point is just a foolish. We can mock it. We can say whatever about it. Nobody's going to do anything. But we talk about anything else, we all of a sudden get canceled. We talk about any other religion, and best believe you're going to get canceled. You're going to get blocked. You're going to get banned. We talk about LGBTQ and this demonic agenda of the government. We're all of a sudden going to get blocked. We talk about the shot. All of a sudden, we get canceled. We get muted. And let me tell you something. It's time for us to stand up and ground ourselves in what we believe in and stand up for righteousness. Cancel me, mute me, do whatever you want. I'm still going to do what I have to do. And I'm still going to follow the Lord. Where's that boldness? Where's that urge to seek those that are lost? Where's that urge to tell people the truth no matter how they feel? Christians are so quick to follow the wave, follow what everyone else is doing. Go with the flow. This is the problem. Christians have no type of discernment because they have no type of relationship with God. There is no relationship with God. And so you have no type of discernment on what's right and 
and what's wrong and so you just go with what the next man is saying instead of seeking god for your own self instead of seeking the secret place instead of worshiping god in spirit and in truth and instead of going on your own and seeing who god is and what his word says you go off with what the next man is saying and believe whatever they're saying is true and not understanding the times that we're living in just shows where your head is at you're comfortable you feel like you have time when in reality we have no time left.